your life is in your own hands. Too many people nowadays feel victimized, feel as if they've been boxed into a corner as the result of external events, external circumstances. Too many people don't like their lives. Two thirds of people don't like the jobs they're doing. Many people are stuck in unhappy and even violent relationships. And yet, as I said right at the beginning, your life is in your hands. Your life can be anything that you want it to be. As long as you understand that you need to take control of your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind controls your life at present and this very moment. Whether you're aware of it or not, it is the way the mind works. It is the way the world of the normal person works. The normal person's subconscious mind controls them. They're blissfully, and that's clearly not the right word, unaware of that, but again, that is a fact of life. To achieve the kind of life you want, you need to take control of your subconscious mind. It's done in two ways. Number one, you can set your mind to achieve the goals and dreams that your heart desires by giving your subconscious mind a full five sensory picture of what it will be like to achieve those goals and dreams. In other words, what it will look like, sound like, feel like, smell like and taste like. That's how you set your mind to achieve your heart's desires. But even more importantly, you control your subconscious mind when you deliberately choose to pay attention to what you're doing in the present moment, the here and now, in reality the only time and place we have. The mind is peppered by 50,000 random, mainly useless thoughts every day. That's a psychological fact. Unfortunately, normal people allow themselves to be dragged by the nose by those useless thoughts. You will never turn off that noise in your head, but you can learn to ignore it by, in the same way as you would set your mind to achieve your heart's desires, by seeing, feeling, hearing, smelling and tasting what you are doing in this very moment. As adults, we do not pay attention to our five senses. That's exemplified by a client of mine who a couple of years back went out for a walk to see, feel, hear, smell and taste what he was experiencing and came back having eaten a piece of hedge because he couldn't get a taste in his mouth. I know it sounds bizarre and it isn't really funny because, as I said, what it does is it exemplifies the extent to which we do not pay attention to our five senses. Paying attention to your five senses places you in the moment and drags the attention of your subconscious mind away from the automatic programs that otherwise run and perhaps ruin your normal life. So there. Two key things you can do to change the course of your life, to move your life towards the life that you really, really want. Set your mind to achieve goals and dreams that your heart desires by picturing how it will feel. And more importantly, pay attention to your five senses in the here and now.